Hello, I'm Entrilis Man. Welcome to Raw Forex, the frustrating, fantastic space strategy game. Uh, we are in the middle of a combat right now, and the enemy just tried to ram us. Literally, like one, two, three, four, five, six craft all attempted to ram different ones of ours. Uh, they missed, luckily. So we're going to quickly try and just get out of this. Um, our main objective was actually to take out Dracon, and we walked into a lot of enemy fire to do it. Took a little bit of armor damage, a lot of shield damage, but uh, we're about to open fire and suddenly they sent out a fleet to just... I guess they were like, look, they're in range. Only thing we can do, ramming speed. So uh, we need to just not... Let's let's move to Zanma jump point, which is directly that way. We are faster than them, so if we can make a little bit of distance, they should not be able to ram us anymore, which would be great. Um, then we also want to fire on them. So let's go and grab everyone. I'm just going to go through everyone and assign them the firing things because the enemy's right up close. Lasers of damage fall off, but at that range, we'll be doing full damage. Okay, everyone is assigned. We're going to start backpedaling. Okay, it looks like they're also running away. We did hit with 6, 6 strength and 1, 11 strength. Okay. Uh, a lot of our weapons aren't ready to fire. They've also fired more missiles at us. Great. Good job. Uh, moving on. Nope, they're coming back. We can't leave right now. Um, yeah, maybe we should slow down. If we slow the fleet down in its move, then they won't gain that we won't just run away. If we run away, our weapons are gonna be less powerful. We'll have to come back in again into enemy fire. Let's try and because they keep firing missiles at us. Uh admittedly not as many missiles this time. Uh oh no, it's because the other missiles hit instantly. We're so close. Oh god, yeah, it's a lot of hits. Uh right. Let's slow ourselves down. We're gonna say do not use max speed. Set speed. Let's go to five thousand. And how are the shields doing? 5% on the just persecution. All right, we're scoring a few more hits here again. Uh, nine strength fives. Ooh. We got hit by 26 missiles that time. One of our professor class is down to 28% shields. Uh, that said, we did land 2 strength 9, 31 strength 5, and 12 strength 2. Oh, we've taken out someone's drive, and we killed an Africa. Now, just, you know, insert Toto's Africa here. I can't get, you know, copyright struck for that, so, you know. Play with that as you will. Uh, I'm in the middle of fighting. I'm a little busy. We'll fire at the Archeroll again with the spare one. And then we will assign a system. Uh, we just killed the Arc Royal. Okay. Uh, I guess moving on. What about the Albion? And someone else had the Arc Royal as a target. It was you. It was the Destroyer Escorts. Okay. Um... Switch to the Argus. Which we just killed. Okay, uh, I guess we will move on to the Africa 6. Oh, and more missiles are coming in. Okay, it looks like we're down to the Africa 6 and... Whatever this is. The Africa 4. We can probably turn around at this stage. Uh, right. 6. Sign in system. Okay. Going back at them. We did just kill the Africa. 
There is another Africa remaining, though. Sign system. And we killed it. Okay. Uh, in which case, let's cease fire fleet. Good work, everyone. We've got two that have taken armor damage now. Uh, shields are looking a little bit ropey. 2% on the silent fire. 16% on just persecution. And 26% on the arc tempestus. And they are firing more missiles. Okay, um, we're in firing range. I want to get a little closer, but not a lot. So I think what we'll do is we'll actually like manually turn off maximum speed. We'll set our speed to like 500 and only 500. That way we should start edging in while we're firing. Then ship combat. I'm going to start punching through. I'm going to deliberately target everyone at one craft and we'll move on from there. So everyone's going to be targeting the Bulwark 3. Sign in system. Uh, I guess you can target the Bulwark 4. That way it'll save us changing over everyone. Uh, sign in system. Uh, you will target the Bulwark 3 because I need to take that out. And then your other gun, which is going to be a lot less powerful, can target the Bulwark 4. And then... You can target the Bulwark 4 as well. Okay, we got a few hits there. We're taking more hits from their missiles. I just need to take one of them down. That'll lessen the incoming. Getting a lot more hits now on them. Yes, we killed a Bulwark. <laughs> and... Yeah, that should be everyone. Okay. Okay, we killed both Bulwarks. Great. Uh, did we get hit by an STO or was that just something else like a shooting down stuff? Uh, yeah, and that was us destroying incoming missiles. Okay, uh, we'll stop moving for now. Like, I think we're into a pretty steady state. Okay, we have stopped moving. Right, what we got left? Centaur, Centaur, Colossus, and a little ground forces. Okay. In which case, let's start taking the fight to the enemy. Let's target the Centaur. The Centaur will assign in system. Uh, Colossus, and we'll assign in system. Colossus again, but on the quads, I'm actually going to go for the STOs because you don't need much damage. You just need to be able to hit and our quads are not going to do much damage at all, especially this range. So we'll sign in system. And then you can target the Colossus as well with that. Okay, we just took 5 strength, 11. Was that us shooting down missiles? No, we were attacked by surface to ground, uh, surface to space weaponry. 11. Whoa, no, they're 11 per hit. Yeah, that's 5 strength, 11 hits. Ouch. How are we doing? Luckily, we have so much shield. That's only about a fifth of our shield. So we'll hold out a little bit longer. 
I'm just going to keep a watchful eye on our shield as we keep doing this. Alright, we didn't take a hit that turn. Alright, we killed an STO. We killed, uh... None of the actual orbital ships yet. Alright, we killed an STO that's for point defense. Like this stage, we could find missiles, but we've kind of won this anyway. It would just be to speed matters up. And like, we don't need to do that just yet. I'm just waiting to see if we get hit by any more STOs. Might be they don't have an active sensor. No, tell a lie, they do have an active sensor lock. Two at strength 11. Although the refire tower on that was a long time. It was the Lord of Light, uh, which. Yeah, had it shield back up, so that was 91% now. That's fine. We're taking out a lot of the STOs. They're down to 1900 rather than 3100 where they started. What is that, like a 40 second recharge there? Okay, that's 33 damage to the Lord Genesis. Bring us down to 87. Oh, I love these shields. Allowing us to tank a bit of PD. There we go, we managed to kill the Colossus. The Centaurs should hopefully follow soon. They aren't, they aren't following. We got one of them. Okay. We killed the STOs. There's one centaur left. In which case, I'm just going to keep forwarding. I could target everyone at it, but... There we go. We killed it. Okay. There are ground forces there. I'm going to do a quick sweep of the system. And if everything's good... Then I guess we'll send in the actual army to do the rest. That was a success. How much damage did we take? Let's do a quick refresh. Um, shield's looking a little bit rough. MSP has been eaten, especially on some of the craft. We did use a lot of anti-missile missiles. That's true. What about you? Mm, not the worst. Kind of okay. Bit rough for the size of ship, but you're managing. Okay. Overall, reasonable. It's a shame we had to walk into that fire, but for walking into the enemy fire, we did kind of well. Uh, we'll also want to. They're all targets. Uh, ceasefire fleet. Assign system. We'll just clear all targets the old fashioned way. Uh, you're all good. Yeah, you're all cleared. Okay. Great. I will probably go back here before I forget and say, hey, do you want to go back to, like, missile defense? That would be perfect. It might be worth popping back to our destroyer escort. No, sorry, our destroyer. Yeah. And then saying... Final fire defense on the quads. Okay. Good job, team. Ooh, they did use a lot of ammo, though. Right. Let's wander around. We want to hit Dracon 4 and then head down to Dracon 5 just to make sure. Also, we've got a distance set, which we should get rid of, but it doesn't make a difference, please. Okay. No active sensor contact. I'm going to bring the civilian fleets through.
should have got them to join as a sub fleet. Balls. Okay. Uh, that way it would look neater. Rename you. Join as sub fleet. Join as sub fleet. Sadly, we can't bring the uh, the Black Suns through. And assault transports, we're going to need to do them as well. Where am I? Oh, whoops. I had the crystals become a sub fleet in a weird way. There we go. Much better. Move to location. There we go. Why will that take you zero hours? I don't understand what your logic is here. Oh, did I get you to move to the wrong location? Yes, I got you to transit back. Whoops. I know what I'm doing. Uh, and then it's move to location. There we go. 12.4 days. Much better. So I just realized that we well, a shortage. I was like, I wonder if Davit, the place we conquered, has any. Well, yeah, it has like 25,000 and like 18,000. We should probably use that. That would be that would be a lot of Galasite. Would solve our short term problem. So let's go find a ship just sitting here. You're in the shipyard, aren't you? Uh, no, you're now 10 to... Uh, anyone here actually free that's not a single ship? Okay. Uh, the 10 to 1. What we will do is to make this quicker... Split you up. I like the fact that it's gone from times 20 to times 0, too. I think it's like, hey, the number's 20. Oh, we're we're going to be number two of that. But what? That doesn't... Nope. Uh, okay, whatever. Movement order. Go to Davit. Load mineral type. Load galasite. Then just load all minerals. And go here. Load mineral type. Galasite, then just load all minerals. Then come back to Sol. Earth, unload. This is actually going to take a while, annoyingly. Uh, unload, 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 unload. All installations, all minerals. There we go. Then refuel. And then we can just have you rejoin. Uh, join fleet. Problem solved. Well, in, you know, 120 days. All right, and Dracon uh, A5 is also clear. So, I think... We can remove the precursor thing from here. And also... Make it possible to auto route through. And now send someone to actually have a look at the damn thing. I guess we'll send you over to Dracon. Cancel what you're doing. There's a lot of asteroids, but cancel what you're doing. Head over to... Uh, I guess Dracon isn't on the list because it's still kind of a threatening environment with the recent fighting. Manually order you to go to Dracon. There we go. Right, and with that being clear, I'm just going to double check by like moving in a little bit closer. Looks fine. We will have the fleet. Pick up the poke maple. Uh, absorb. Mm. No. We'll just move to location and then send message. Uh, fleet merge. Let that do its thing. 
I don't want them running in here by themselves just in case there is something that happens to that ether rift. Because I'm aware there is an ether rift right there. Things could could happen, and I do not want them to happen. As you might have guessed, that would be bad. Uh, come on, scroll over. I guess we should also send the harvesters in. Yeah, let's go get them. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? The wolf, because I've got a feeling they're on screen now and I can't see them. Because they, I know they end up in like the awkward middle of somewhere. Here we go. Head over to. Again, Draco is not showing, so head to Zanmar. And then get in there. I'm going to keep playing the battle music because we're about to do an orbital drop. But I am aware that, yes, we are playing battle music right now. Right. Oak Maple. Remove all. Join a subfleet. Beautiful. Crimson Deacon. Head to A1 and then... I guess we're going to orbital drop, but it's actually not on the list. We do have our assault transports in our fleet, right? Yeah, but they're in a sub sub fleet. And maybe that's what confuses it. Either way, it'll take you 7.3 days. Also, racial wealth, by the way, I know this is kind of a segue. Racial wealth is on the up and has been on the up for a while now. So I think. We've hit one of our uh, motion goals, which is to have racial wealth be positive and build enough, you know, financial sense for that to be a thing. We could probably lay off building those. In fact, let us lay off building those right now. Um, how many? We've only built like 50. You know what? We'll finish off by building like the rest of the 50, but we won't build the extra 300 beyond that. Okay, we're in orbit. This is going to be a big fight. Uh, I guess if we drop you directly on Crimson Deacon, maybe you'll be able to do it now. No. We're definitely transporting them. Why are we not orbital dropping? Oh, do I need to create colony? Yes. Orbital drop all ground units. Let's do this. We'll also pull up the ship list and check on our fuel status. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to be doing a little bit of refuel here, mate. But once that's done, we should be fine. Uh, it doesn't look like we need the extra missiles, so I will send our Black Suns home. Where are you, Black Suns? Oh, you're down here, right? Uh, this is gonna be a bit annoying because I have to drag you all the way up. I'm gonna just close these temporarily. Black Suns. Burn auxiliary. Thank you. Okay. Uh, right. Completed orders. That means they've been dropped. Closing Agent, Closing Davit. Close everywhere. But here. Port attack, rear, 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 yes. Now, we can also give orbital support. So, movement orders. Provide orbital bombardment support. So then out doing that order. And we should... Oh, no. Stop going forwards in time. No! Thank you. Bloody hell. Uh, okay. We want support from Arc Tempestus. And... 
One, two, three. Oh, that's it for the DDs. Um, wait, there's one, two, three. Did we not have the Lord Genesis? Oh God, I can't tell who's actually providing orbital support. Either way, I guess they're out now supporting whatever. Uh, okay. Move you over here. The fighting begins! Okay, scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up, scrolling up. That's a lot of up. Okay, enemy hostile force. Uh, massive error bar. Not even going to even remotely pay attention to that. That's just, you know, 100% error bar. Uh, this is the fire spot I wanted to look at. Arc Tempestus. Fired! Many times, getting a lot of misses. In fact, did we get any hits from fire support? We did. The Harrower hit a Centurion one out of 13 times getting a kill. Well, you know, the main weapon on a beam destroyer hitting a, what is effectively like an infantry unit type mecha robot. Like it's, it's, yeah, that should be dead. Uh, the Just Persecution and Onyx managed to destroy a Centurion. Hey, here we go. The Liberator and Onyx managed to hit a combat mech, killing it. Okay, let's just scroll down to the summary. We killed 103 Centurions, 6 AA mechs, 5 resupply, 5 combat mechs, 1 construction vehicle, 1 resupply vehicle. And we took... 33 with MG, 33 by themselves, 18 with light anti-vehicle, 5 Persis Knights, and LAV drone, and an Ajax Command APC. That's not good. Damn. We've just discovered the aliens have towed artillery. It has three shots, penetration 18, damage 48. Oh dear. And Praetorian High Leader? Wow, this is above the norm Praetorian. Sweet. Okay, I guess we take the next round. Okay, uh, new round. What's the error bar this time on the enemy? Dear God, it goes up so far. Uh, oh, that was the last time. Where's this time? There we go. All right, so with a 67% error bar... There's 1,000 infantry, 80 mechs, 40 AA, 20 construction vehicles, 70 resupply, 4 leaders, 50 towed artillery, 250 resupply, and 2 high leaders. Although we know that from, you know, experience, they get their estimates of enemy leaders massively wrong. Right, we killed 115 centurions, 8 combat mechs, 7 AA mechs, 5 resupply, 1 construction vehicle. We lost ooh, 47 Praetorium MGs, 31 Praetorians, 16 with LAVs, 3 drones, and a Perseus Knight. Yeah, the Clover Leaves might be dead after this. They'll win, but they might be so, like, damaged that it's worth just recreating the unit. We'll have to see. Because, obviously, we can recreate it with the uh, new gene tech. Right. Enemies are down to probably 800 infantry. 50 combat mix. We killed 60 infantry. 2 combat mix. 2 total artillery. We lost 40 machine gunners. 27 infantry. 14 with LAVs. And 2 Persis Knights. Okay, we killed 76 infantry. 5 towed artillery. 4 combat mix. A construction vehicle, and they managed to kill 30 Praetorians, 29 machine guns, 5 Perseus Knights. Oof, losing those Perseus Knights in such numbers is surprising. I thought they'd hold up better. Uh, 5 Praetorians of LAVs. Okay. We now estimate them to have probably like 700 infantry. Ooh, Captain Kane Destellia has got the achievement for destroying 5,000 tons of hostile ground force. Nice. Uh, we killed 100 enemy infantry, 
five combat mechs. They killed 30 of our infantry, 27 with machine guns as well, eight with light anti vehicle, and three Perseus Knights, and another command APC. Damn. We killed 120 infantry, five combat mechs, and they killed 29 with machine guns, 26 infantry, and seven with rocket launches. All right, this is certainly a scrap. Oh, it didn't go the full eight hours. Here we go. Enemy, you have 680 infantry and 64. Uh, uh, 56 combat mechs. Okay. We killed 50 infantry. Four mechs. They killed 15 infantry, 12 MGs, 7 LAVs, and 4 Perseus Knights. I think they might be doing way too well here. Like, we have the tonnage advantage, etc. Blah, blah, blah. But they're doing surprisingly well. I mean, yes, they do have fortifications and stuff and whatever, but. Okay, they're down to 550. This is air range, 22%. 550 infantry. Right, how did it go this time? We killed 50 infantry, 5 combat mechs. They killed 19 of our machine gunners, 17 of our infantry, and 11 with light anti vehicle. We killed 30 infantry. That's a big drop. Two combat mechs. They killed 21 machine gunners, 13 infantry, and three Perseus knights. Ooh, no, we know those knights. They're, those knights are useful. They've got really nice, you know, penetrating weapons that just blow them up when they hit. Like, right are we hit with them? Uh, we killed 43 infantry. Eight combat mechs. That's looking good. They killed... 23 Praetorians, 21 machine guns, Persis Knight, a drone, and three LAVs. Uh, okay. I wish there was an easier way to see the overall health of a unit. Looking ground forces. Can we see, like, supply, morale? Yeah. Units. It doesn't see, like, I wish it said units out of how many are meant to be here, but it doesn't. You know, that'd be useful. That'd be a useful metric that we would like. But you can see that, like, right here, the number of units is meant to be nearer to 500. And some of them are running at, you know, 221. We're below half strength in a few of our units, which is not looking good for us. Yeah, I think the... Uh, both the Onyx Day Demons and the Jeffreys Clover Leaves are probably not long for this world. They'll win this fight, but when we take them home, I think the troops deserve to be demobilized and a new generation. Probably wait until the next batch are ready, admittedly, but yes. Okay. Uh, killed 72 infantry, 7 combat mechs, and 19 infantry, 5 MGs, 6 with LAVs, and 2 Perseus Knights for us. That's a better ratio. 40 infantry. They took out um, 15 MGs and 12 normal. Forty-five infantry and five mechs, in exchange for seven MGs, five infantry, two light anti-vehicle. Thirty infantry and a big drop. Two combat mechs. They took out seven infantry, five MGs, and one Percy's knight. And numbers have dropped all around there. Okay, we estimate them to be about a hundred, uh, three hundred and thirty infantry with twenty-six mechs. Looking better. Uh, we lost 11 with MGs. <coughs> and 5 normal infantry. Sorry about that. In exchange, we killed 34 infantry and 5 combat mechs. If we keep killing that number of combat mechs, I'll be very happy.
Uh, we killed 33 and seven combat mechs. In exchange, we lost five MGs, five normal, two LAVs, and a knight. We killed, ooh, 71 this time. Sweet. And one combat mech. In exchange, we lost 13, four MGs, four LAVs, and a knight. Ooh, 91 infantry dead. We must have got a lot of breakthroughs. Yeah, a lot of breakthroughs there. Okay, so we killed 91 infantry, 10 combat mechs, 10 resupply, 5 resupply infantry, 3 total artillery, 1 Praetorian leader. In exchange, we lost 7 MGs, 7 normal, 1 LAV, and a light LAV drop. That's honestly pretty great. Armor strength of the alien ground unit Praetorian leader being calculated as 40. All right, pretty, pretty tanky. We killed 65 and no mechs. Do they have any mechs left? One combat mech. Right, really whittled them down. We lost three MGs, two normal, and an LAV. Ah, perfect. We should have this one in the bag any second now. Yeah, their estimate have like 26 infantry left. Uh, we took no losses. We killed 37 infantry. And yeah, four Praetorian leaders, towed artillery, resupply vehicles. This should be a win. Hostile force. One combat mech. One resupply. One towed artillery. And... 48 resupply vehicles. That's the estimate. Okay. We estimate them now to have three resupply and one towed artillery. We did lose a LAV drone, though. Ah! We did not find anything useful. Damn it! Okay, but we did defeat them. That's the important part. And this is Raycon. Unknown race. Ooh, this is a different precursor race. I think. I'm not certain about that. Uh, we'll have to go grab a Zeno team, bring them over. Probably leave someone on the jump point to act as a transit point. But I'm happy to kind of start setting this up. Stabilize the jump point. Move in. Have a look around. Because this was well defended, which means it's probably a pretty nice location. In fact, if I close and reopen you, will you show me the two different colonies we have? There should be a captured colony as well. Right, well, I'm going to go order over a uh, Xeno Archaeology unit. I think we'll leave the army here just in case. If they come back to Sol, all they'll be doing is sitting around waiting to be replaced. So I might as well leave them here acting as guard duty until we can replace them. Um, that means that... We'll probably bring the entire fleet home, barring dropping the jump tender at the other side of the jump point. Well, this part of our C group of freighters is doing the back and forth, trying to get us that galasite. The normal unit might as well start shipping some of those uh, finance centers around, right? Because we don't really want them on Earth. They're using people that could be doing other stuff. So finance, 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 finance. Oh, right. We've got like 700 coming. Okay. Yeah, we could do with moving them. Obviously move 10 at a time, not 20 because it's actually only 10 in this unit. Um, we probably want to move like 200 to Mars, 200 to Luna. That's many trips, but what have you. I guess like the loading will take time. So let's just do this like 19 times. No, just do it 10 times for now. So we'll do it another 9 times. So 10 times. That's 10 each. Yeah, so it's 200 in total. We were going for 400 in total. We can always add to this later on. Aha! The Wolfkas have arrived. Um, We are probably just going to give you orders just to start salvaging stuff. So salvage nearest wreck. There we go. Instead of having to specify every wreck, which would be tedious. Hello? Strength 11 thermal sensor? 
do not mind if I do. Magazine feed efficiency, 85%. Again, do not mind. Unrest is rising on Vastran A1 due to insufficient occupation force. Mate! There's no one there. It's population zero. Unless someone's moved in recently. Oh, God. Yeah, no. Um, It was an alien colony with no one living there. Like, it was abandoned. We sent people to it, and suddenly the people are like, We're subjugated. You took us over. I'm like, wait, what? Mate. Mate. Mate, you... You what? Either way, the fleet's home, so we're going to get them to go back, separate into their little bits, and uh, take a little bit of an R&R. &R. You know, I think they've earned it. Oh! Hi, Grosvenor Protectorate! Where's this? The system of writs. Because that's uh, a lot of dudes just sitting there. There's nothing in the system. You just got a lot of dudes sitting there. On the jump point. Hi. Have they told us to, like, leave? No. Okay. This is going to be down near Slaying Hurdle. That's it. Vastran keeps complaining about, like, people not, you know, doing what we say. You know, how how dare they? They're trying to oppress us. It's like, what? You were perfectly happy. It's just because you're living in alien ruins. We're going to load uh, the... Which one should we load? The House Kruber Auxiliary Company. They can be trusted. And we'll head back to Vastran and drop that off. Obviously, it's going to take ages. But whatever. 300 days to do that. Ah, uh, we could halve it. You know what? What we'll do is we'll send you to Sol. And then the one that's actually in Sol will have to do the reverse. We'll, you know, that way it'll take half the time. We've discovered the system of Drogo. Drago. 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 It has eight comets. That's it. I mean, comets can still be great. Look at Kalika. But... Uh, magazine neutralization system, 85%. Good. Jagna C20 have completed orders. That's fine. And a few people need, you know, orders to be given because they're like, hey, what do we do next? Stuff. Do stuff. Also, we fully scanned Dracon, so let's actually have a look what's here. Ruined City. Yep, that's good. Uh, Ruined City is a pretty damn good catch. It's not a, you know, deserted city, which would be nice. It's ruined, but we'll take it. Um, the temperature is a bit high. And the atmosphere could do a bit of tweaking. But other than that, that's pretty livable. It's got the water already. Um, no minerals, though. However, on this one, there's a little bit. Ah, wow. Okay. This is one of the least mineral-rich systems for the number of bodies it has that I have seen. It has a comet with a tiny bit of meh. And then it's got this, which has tritanium at meh. Um, yeah. We'll probably dig this up just for the stuff. But in terms of actually colonizing Dracon, don't know why you existed here, mate, because there's nothing to be found. We'll probably need to find like an engineering company to send over or something. You're on Davit right now. Davit A3. Are we done with Davit A3? I don't remember. Yes. Okay, well... Funnily enough, we have a unit in the area. Because you're going past Davit. Up to Sol. Have a bit of a refuel. Then 
hop up to Dracon, which obviously still is not in our thing because it's dangerous. And then unload. Ooh, we found about Shinigami, another system. Uh, many suns. Wow. Four suns. Only two planets. Only two moons, but 400 asteroids. That's somewhat impressive. Oh, it's also at like 13 billion kilometers out. Oof. Eh. This is not the last one, which is like 20 billion out. So like not 20, 200 billion out. All right, the Wolfkers are saying, hey, we're done. Bring us that tasty technology home then. Uh, we'll auto route back to Sol. Earth. Refuel. Unload all ship components. Unload all minerals and standing order. End. That was a successful field trial. The battler has delivered all of the orbital habitats. We are in a pretty reasonable position now. I think upgrading the army once we get the gene tech is going to be certainly one of the things that needs to come out of that. And then also bearing in mind that missiles need spares, especially for anti-missile missiles, because there are a lot of them used. Um... Do, 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 do. How are we doing on that? October next year. A little time to take. And we're still going on our cloaking. Right. Very well. That seems pretty fair to me. I'd say that was a success. We narrowly avoid getting rammed. We then blasted them. We then landed. We did some more blasting. And we realized, hey, this place is a ruined city. There might be a lot of stuff to get here. Downside, there's no minerals or anything. So long-term habitation of Dracon is surprisingly disappointing for something so heavily defended. But ruined city might have some good stuff in it. Especially considering we have absolutely no idea what alien race is up there. I've been at Realistic. We're going to end it here. If you want to get involved in all the interactivity and stuff and the voting on motions... Um, go check out the Discord. Uh, there's probably an election coming, depending on how quickly we're going through episodes. At some point in the near future. And there's also motions being voted on. I mean, as of recording this, all the motions for the Parliament have been voted on. But there is now a Senate, because there was a vote to have a Senate. And the Senate now is a motion, and that is still going. Although it's probably going to close way before you see this episode. By the time you see this episode, there might be an election vote or something going on, or close to... Either way, load of interactivity happening. Hopefully you're enjoying it. If you want to, also the Discord does have announcement channel where it will say like all my streams and all my videos. If you want to subscribe, you can. Apparently there are now three options for the bell icon as well. That's the thing you can do. It won't get you my streams because they're on Twitch, but it might, if you're lucky, get you my videos. But if you want to be sure, just check out the announcement column in the Discord. Mute the rest if you want. Leaving a comment and like, though, that helps because that makes the algorithm go, ooh, you like this. So feel free to do that. Until next time, stay shiny.